You know, being a hero to your child, my wife nailed me once that taught me a big lesson. I was in my study. I had a row top desk then, and I was there working hard on a deadline that I had for a chapter of a book. And about 3.15 that afternoon, my son Sean was about two years old. He walks into the room. Now, my response was unbelievable. It showed the tremendous parenting skills without thinking. Without even thinking, I said, son, I'm busy right now. I'll talk to you at dinner. Now, what two-year-old is going to argue with that? And so I went on with my studies. In about three minutes, his mother came into that room, and I made a mistake. You know, sometimes what you say makes it right or wrong is the timing. Well, this was totally the wrong timing. Without anything, I said, honey, I'm busy right now. Uh-oh. That wasn't the time to say that. She walks over to my desk. You have to understand now, my wife avoids controversy whenever she can. She doesn't like controversy. She walked over. She doesn't even remember this as so out of character for her. She put her hands down on my papers and looked me right in the eye and pointed her finger at me. She never does that. And she said, honey, you better listen to me. You're always going to have a book to finish. You're a five-ring circus. You're always going to have a chapter to finish, a deadline to meet, a contract to fulfill. You're always going to have a talk to write. You're always going to have somewhere to go to deliver it. But honey, you won't always have a two-year-old son who wants to sit on his daddy's lap and ask him a question. And she walked out of the room. I sat there stunned. And it wasn't long before I fell on my knees and made a, a commitment before God I've tried to always honor, but many times I haven't. I said, God, from this moment on, I never, ever, ever want to put my ministry, my family before my ministry. I said, I never want to put my children and my wife or my family before my ministry. Because at that moment, God taught me one of the greatest lessons of my life. My family does not come before my ministry. My family is my first ministry. And folks, that's not just a little something. That is a huge concept. And once I realized that, it totally revolutionized the way I related to my family. Before then, I would come home from a trip. I was tired. I'd been out ministering. Just want to be quiet, sit down, watch television, go to bed early. Why? Because I've been out ministering. Now I'm in family. Now when I go home, when I walk through that front door, my first ministry begins. No matter how tired of what I am, my first ministry begins. Whether it's ministry or business, never put your family before your business because your family is your first business. And wow, does that pay off with your children.